Welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at my new PC case. This is the Corsair 220T RGB Airflow Gaming Case. I'm Really Random Reviews and I hope everyone's doing fine and well and having a great day. This case came from eBuyer and cost me $64.95 in the UK at the time of recording. I chose this case because my old one had poor airflow and my house is quite dusty because I have several pets. So the dust filters seem like quite a good option here. Let's get into the box and see what we've got. It comes in your typical large PC case box with side handles for easy transportation and it's packed like most cases are today with the polystyrene foam top and bottom and the plastic cover. It's a tried and tested method for shipping. We have the black one here but you can also get this in white. The white one comes with grey dust filters which looks pretty cool but I didn't feel it would age well in my house. It also boasts a fully tempered glass side panel, three RGB fans included with an RGB controller and a little instruction booklet there that we're not going to be needing. The front cover is metal with a nice black finish. It feels like a good quality with cutaway V-shaped design. It covers most of the front panel but there is a design flaw here in my opinion. We'll talk about that later. It's easy to remove and it just pops off and gives you access to the dust filter that just lifts out too for easy maintenance and cleaning. It's one of the main reasons I picked this case. This has a really fine mesh on the magnetic dust filter. The three fans are RGB and fully controllable with the IQ software and it all conveniently just clicks back into place. So we've got the Corsair logo print on the bottom there. Then we've got the V-shaped cutouts all the way up the front panel. There's a gap down either side to pop it off. The front control panel is very simple. There's a power button, two USB ports, a 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone jack and a reset switch. Then if we come round to the glass side panel, you've got your typical four thumb screws that allows you to remove the side panel, which gives you full access to inside the case. As you can see here, we've got plenty of standoff space here. We've got the RGB control hub at the back there. All of the control panel wires and the fan wires there. We've got plenty of room for 240mm radiators on top, 120mm radiators on the rear. We've got four rubber grommets to help with aesthetics and cable management. There's plenty of cutouts. And then as you can see again on the top there, we've got another dust cover, which is also magnetic. Very good all in all. If we come around to the other side panel, this is just black sheet metal with your typical two thumb screws and then it pulls backwards to slide off. You have two SSD bays here which both screw to the subframe, very good. And then we've got a normal hard drive bay and we've got another dust filter at the bottom. That dust filter is not magnetic, it just slides in, that is the power supply dust filter. And then in our hard drive slot here, we've got a little box. I assume this has got the motherboard screws and maybe some standoffs and things like that. Yeah, we've got zip ties, motherboard screws and bits and bobs in there. Nice to see. Let's get this plastic peeled off then, guys. Some of the main things I like on this case is the simplistic design and the overall size. That it comes with three Corsair RGB fans and a controller. It has several magnetic dust filters for easy maintenance, top 
front and the bottom, although the bottom tray is just a sliding tray, it's not magnetic. The glass side panel is fully removable and full tempered glass. It has a black border which helps with aesthetics in my opinion. The fan mounts have rectangular holes for adjustments and some boards come in different sizes so things need a jiggle now and again to fit properly and to sit well on the brackets. It's all well produced and up to a high standard. And the RGB Asus logo on my motherboard is now visible with a 120mm AIO in the rear whereas with my old case that Asus badge was hidden. The RGB is set to rainbow as standard so if you don't want to use the IQ software as it is considered bloatware really, it does affect performance also so for sure you can just leave the fans on standard which cycle through the rainbow. That suits me because I have several branded components in my computer and to fully control them all I would need several sets of software to control them all individually. So I just leave them all on default which is rainbow. It works for me. There are plenty of cutouts and rubber grommets for aesthetics also. The negatives that I've found with this case is that the drive bay is a little tight when cable managing. I had to remove the hard drive bay altogether so I could get all the cables and stuff in there nice and tidy. It can fit back in but it was a bit of a squeeze for me so I would like a little more space there. There is less room than I would like in the side panel for cable management. I would have liked another half an inch or so, but it's not too bad and it can be cable managed quite efficiently. And the final thing I can think that's a negative is this front cover here. As you look at it, there's a few areas that seem to be darkened out. You can't see the RGB through the metal grate. There's like two or three areas at the top and then there's one just above like the Corsair logo area at the bottom. And I do think this is a, either a design flaw or a structural flaw. I think maybe if they cut those V-shaped holes out, then when you pop the front panel out, it might have made the panel bend or, or it may have lost some of its rigidity. After rebuilding my PC and having no issues with the boots and stuff, I was actually quite happy and I am overall happy with my new case. I'm going to give this 4 stars out of 5 because like I said, I think there could be a little more room with the cable management and I think they could have done a little bit of a better job on that front sheet metal. But other than that, I'm very, very happy with this case. Guys, if you found any part of this video interesting or helpful at all, drop me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.